I've been involved over the years in a number of different uh, events and major catastrophes, unfortunately, here in Minneapolis. And so that's kind of how I was tapped to help lead the Super Bowl public safety efforts. At the command level, we're always struggling to find out what's happening out there on the streets where things are taking place. So you have a lot of different faction groups, from investigative groups to tactical groups to intelligence groups to just logistics groups. So we talked about escorts and routes and how you're sharing the city and every part of event planning comes down to your space and how we're getting there and how we're coordinating this. And most of the groups all need the same information, but it's a common place to put the information. And so being able to look at an ArcGIS based map that incorporates 3D imagery, both exterior as well as inside structures like US Bank Stadium is extremely beneficial. So if I wanted to see location of officers in the field, the evacuation areas, transportation routes, these are all data layers that you can toggle off or on depending on what you really need to see and the level of situational awareness that you're looking for. You know, that's something brand new for us, is being able to see inside the stadium. That can make all the difference in the world, especially if you're trying to direct responders that are coming from outside to be able to give them specific instructions on where to go and what you're seeing um, before they even get in the stadium. It helps them make better decisions. We had over 80 agencies participating and present here in the multi-agency command center in Minneapolis. Everybody that we talk to has more and more sensor feeds that they want to connect the system to. So cameras and incident management systems. There's alarm systems, uh, fire control panels, magnetometers, BLE beacon and location tracking systems. There's just a variety of, of different sensor feeds that we can interface to. We don't care what systems you're currently using. We integrate with those systems so there's not a large learning curve. Well, I think it could seamlessly be adapted to any other city. It's really using an ArcGIS-based map, so you could take it to any jurisdiction, any city in America, really, and then incorporate personalized sets of data that may be relevant to that particular jurisdiction.